Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at reading, eye movement, and the brain. Reading is creating meaning with print, not sounding out words. Our brain creates meaning. It's a transactive process, meaning what's in our head transacts, interacts with what's on the page to create meaning. And brain imaging research shows that there's almost 10 times more information flowing from the cortex down than from the page up. So we are constantly predicting, using what's in our head to make sense of what is out there. Now the brain uses three cueing systems to recognize words during the reading process. Semantics, which is context, syntactic, which is word order, grammar, and graphophonological, which is phonics or letter cues. Of these three, phonics is the least efficient. Now, take a look at our eye movement. When we read, our eyes do not move from left to right in straight, steady lines. It's more like a hummingbird. It goes back and forth. Saccades are the small, rapid, jerky movement that our eyes make. Fixations are where our eyes actually stop. When we read text, our eyes do not move in a straight line across the page. Those little dots are called fixations. They make skips from word to word called saccades. They also skip words, repeat words, and fixate on them. Now why is that important? The brain, information flowing top down, creates the illusion of a smooth line, creates the illusion that we read every word, but our eyes only fixate on about 60% of the words. More familiar, fewer, less familiar information, more fixations, all right? We use very few letter cues. Our brain fills in the blanks. Gestalt, it completes the picture from only partial data. It is a very inefficient way to operate if the brain had to replicate everything it sees. The brain sees patterns and fills in the blanks. So it is with reading. Exactly, you see cubes there, although that's not a cube. Your brain is filling in the blank. You see a triangle there, although it's not really there. Filling in the blank. Filling in the blank. Perception. Now, we have three regions of perception. The full view takes up only one or two percent of your total vision. Three to six letters we can see clearly. The foveal is thought to be the size of a grape at arm's length. We can only see three to six letters clearly when we read. Outside that is called the para foveal. We can see about 24 to 30 letters, but not very clearly. Peripheral is everything else, and we see gross shapes. What does that tell us? We can't perceive every letter. We get minimal letter cues. We get kind of cues in the parafolvial and our brain fills in the blanks. Efficient readers use very few letter cues. We want to teach children to read the way efficient readers read. We recognize words using semantic syntax and minimal letter cues. Phonics are important, but only as one of three cueing systems. Now, learning in the brain, what does that have to do with reading? Hang with me. Learning, from a neurological point of view, is connecting neurons, developing neural pathways, and enhancing neural networks. Neural pathways and neural networks facilitate learning, including literacy. Whenever we connect one thing to another, we create a neural pathway. Things related create neural networks, and we use this, remember, what's in our head, to understand what's on the page. Some teaching tips. Students still need reading practice, but reading practice should be designed to strengthen neural pathways and develop neural networks. We're not learning to read, we're developing neural pathways. We're strengthening those letter sound associations so students can recognize letters and word patterns instantly without having to think about it. We don't want them to sound out words. We want them to use minimal cueing systems. Instruction should develop all three cueing systems, and we should use the minimal amount of phonics necessary because it's not very efficient. We want students to fill in the blanks. Remember, there's almost 10 times more information flowing from the cortex down than from the sense data thalamus up. We want to teach students to fill in the blanks. Interactive or transactive, what's in the head, mixes with what's on the page to create meaning. When we read, we do not process every letter. More information is flowing down than flowing up.